So hey guys, we're going to show you how to wire an EL wire into your E90 or E92. Um, if you've got any BMW 3 Series, we're going to show you how to do it. And so let's get into it. Okay guys, so firstly what we have here is our EL wire. So I've got one meter of that and we've also got our inverter. So without the inverter, the EL wire won't work. So we'll need both of these and we'll get into how we go about doing this. Okay, so as with doing anything electrical, what we wanna do first is remove the battery. So um, we're gonna take the negative terminal off the battery. So we'll just get into that. I'll just get show you how to do it so there's a little sort of dial here and you want to twist that and release it and pull from the top and you'll see the battery cover comes out we'll just leave that to the side and I'll just get into here so we've got the negative terminal there and we're just going to take a 10 millimeter socket and we're just going to undo that Okay, so as you can see, we've got the negative connector and we'll just rest it on that rubber part there. We wanna make sure it's not touching any metal. And now the battery's switched off on the car. Okay, so next, so we're gonna start off with the back doors. So first thing you wanna do is remove this trim piece. So you can either use a trim removal tool or sometimes you can use your hands and try and get in beside it. So I've got a little bit of a grip here. So try not to snap any of the clips off and you can just pull. You might feel like you're breaking some of them. So there we go, we've got ours off and there'll be, it's just the one screw in the rear one. So just in there, I think it's a T30 Torx. Okay, so as you can see, um, I've got the screw out now. So next, what you want to do is, there's another one here. And then finally, once we've got that second screw off, we've got the third one up here that we can just get off. Now, once we've got all the screws off, we can start pulling from the bottom. So if you haven't got a trim tool, what you can use is a flathead screwdriver and a cloth, and you can start from pulling from the bottom and you can hear the clips come off. So I've already done that now and you can start using your hands as well once some of them are off. So as you can see, my door cards are now loose and we'll just pull it off from the top. And then you wanna unclip this by pulling from that. So unclip the door handle switch by pulling from the far side and then unclip the, door, um, the window switch. So we'll just do that. Okay. Okay, so next to wiring our EL wire, we want to go tap into the window switch harness, which is right here that you had connected to your window switch. Now we've got three wires here, as you can see. Um, the two that we wanna use is the red and gray wire and this brown wire. So this red and gray is the positive, that's the negative. Okay, so to cut into them, um, you can either use connectors to wire into them or you can make a little slit. So that's what I'm gonna do with my wire cutting tool. So we'll just get down to doing that. So give it a little bit of space from the window switch so you have a little bit of free wire to play with. So as you can see, we've done the first one, which has got a little bit of a slit here, and we'll cut into the brown wire as well. And there we go. So because the BMW wire is pretty strong, we can pull on it quite a bit. And as you can see, we've made cuts in both of these two wires. Okay, so just to test that our inverter is working on the EL wire. So we've got our inverter right here. Now, next, 
we've got our positive which is red and negative which is black so I'm gonna just cut off a little bit of wire just on the end of these and then wrap it around just to test and uh, just to see that our ER wire is working okay so as you can see I've wrapped the negative wire around the brown and the positive around the red and we've got our inverter here so we just get the other end of the inverter and we just connect that to our ER wire so we'll just get doing that and that's clicked in and then next what we want to do is plug in the battery again and we can just test that the wire works make sure that these two wires don't touch each other or it'll shut so as you can see we plugged the battery back in and it's very hard to see in the day but as you can see it is lit up now so we, this wire and inverters are all working so now we'll head towards the door card Okay, so we've got our door card right here. So next thing what we want to do is get our drill and get a little small drill bit that's big enough to pass the wire through. And we want to make a little bit of a hole just right in the corner, just enough that um, that we can pass the wire through. So we'll just get on to doing that. So as you can see, we've got a tiny little hole through here. So next what we want to do is grab our EL wire. Okay, so next step is we've grabbed our EL wire and we want to place it in this little trim piece. So what we're going to use our trusty flathead screwdriver and our little cloth just to push the wire into the little crevice just around here. So we'll get on to doing that. First, before we do that, we want to place the wire through this through the hole that you've made so starting from the back as you can see so we've made our hole right through it so we want to push the wire through and then feed it all the way around leave enough wire so that you can sort of have it near the window switch because that's where we're going to tap into our inverter Okay, so as you can see, you can slightly see it there. So we've tucked in our EL wire nicely in and then we can take this back to the car now. Okay guys, so we've got our wires hooked up. Now what I'm gonna do is just wrap them around the wires and I'm just gonna wrap them in a bit of black tape just to stop them from touching each other and um, also give it a little bit of support as well. You can solder these together as well, um, or if you're using the connectors, then it's just simple as. So we'll just do that. Okay, so I've got my wires nicely taped up around here. Now what we want to do is place our inverter somewhere on here. So what we can do is we can get a small screw and we can just drill it into the uh, foam. Place it in an area where the door card's not going to be touching onto this inverter or else you won't be able to get the door card back on. So we'll just double check that we've got enough space. So when you're placing the inverter, it's best to put it as low down as you can, uh, furthest away from your air because these do make a little bit of noise. So. Um, it's best to keep it as low as you can, so I'm just going to decide to put it around here. So that's one screw in. There we go, and that's two screws in. So now we can get to assembling our door card back again. Okay, so what we want to do first is just check that everything's all connected. So we'll get our inverter to our LE, uh, EL wire. So we'll get that firstly switched in. And then we'll put in our window switch and, sorry about the noise. So we get our window switch and we'll get our door handle and we'll plug them back in. So when you're doing the door handle, make sure 
on the door card that the door handles shut when doing it and then we can pop that back in so you just literally pop that back in from one side and push it in And the last bit is to, we can just tape up the rest of the EL wire. Last thing is we want to get our little locking uh, little tab and place that back into the door card and then push, get the top of the door aligned and then you can literally push it on and you'll hear the clips go on now when you're doing the rest of the tabs and you're pushing it back on make sure they are aligned or you can bend them so we'll just get down to doing that Okay, so last step, we want to put the screws that we took out back in. Now, just before doing that, we can reconnect the battery and just check that the EL wire works, so we'll do that. So as you can see, it's nice and lit up just around there on that little strip there. So we can put the three screws that we took off, so one there, one just there and one there, and then we can put the last trims back on. So back and we're nearly done. Right, so as you can see, we've got, we'll just put it sideways a little bit. Oh, I'll try and pop the cap. Okay, so we're back. All right, so as you can see, the EL wire lights up. And the good thing is that this can be dimmed with the OEM cluster light. So you can see I've got it on the front doors as well. So there's on the front doors and I'll get a video of what it looks like at night as well. So. There we go. Okay guys, so we've come out just at night. As you can see, when we unlock the car, the lights turn on. It makes a real big difference at night. If we can get that focus. There we go. So, you can see. door that we've done today so it makes a real real big difference so yeah we'll cut back to the video okay guys so we fitted the EL wire into our back door card so it's pretty much the same for the fronts as well uh, just a couple more screws but you can see them and um, there's one at the top here and instead of having two screws here there's three there so pretty much the same um, the wiring is exactly the same so you want to make sure that the brown wire is the negative and the red and gray is the positive and once you've got that you can just uh, tuck it into the door card and it's pretty much all done so i've got more mods coming up for this car so this is for the e9x series so this is an e90 i've done quite a few mods already so if you do like these videos please like comment and subscribe and if you do need any help then just put it down in the comments below thanks guys I'm done